crazy rhythm game, Street Fighter V. Slam in! I decided to send us Do you have a gunky stick? Yes. Does it feel like there's some goo in there Then he's cleaning out? Man goo. Maybe your arcade stick needs a bit of lube. Today, we're gonna get some maintenance done. First, the sandwich stick. Give our pink ball a bit of a twist and open the housing. We'll remove the cable harness, then unscrew the mount from the case. You may have more screws depending on the mount. I am John Luke. Give me your lunch money. And now we can pull our stick out. It is all ready. Oh. We'll need both a posi and a flathead screwdriver, as well as some lubrication. I've got this Serra grease from Tamiya because it's cheap. Remove these screws to take off the mount from the stick. Hey presto! Use a small flathead screwdriver with your thumb to take off the E-clip. You may need to push down on the piece of black plastic underneath it, but this is a total bugger. Once this clip is off, we can remove the spacer and then the spring and then slide the shaft out from the other side. I'm back with a sandwich, what did I miss? To get the spring receiver out, we need to turn this over and then give it a shake. Shake it, baby. The pivot will slide down the shaft. Beverly can slide down mine. <sighs> this one here doesn't look too dirty. For the shaft, we can just wipe it with some tissue. We could use some washing up liquid or something like a scratch removal spray. WD-40 or something like this should work perfect. Another alternative would be Blue Job. What? Are you being serious? The things people can get away with nowadays. For these plastic parts, we don't want to use oil on these, but we can throw them in the sink. You have baby hands like young Wesley. That little sock cook. Dry the parts with paper tissue or towel and use a cotton bud to get into these hard to reach places. It's not too bad in here, so I'm gonna use some wet wipes. To clean the spring, we'll use this again. It's pretty good at getting grime off metals and things like that. Use a tissue to clean and then dry a little. Next step is the gate. To remove this, we need to take off all four clips from each side of the gate. They need to all come out at the same time. This one looks pretty clean, but they usually get dirty around this area here. So what do we do? We turn it into a frog. If we do want to clean the plastic areas without water, I'd personally use some silicone oil on a little cotton bud. If there's some grease you cannot get off, a little contact cleaner would work too. Just be sure to wipe off the excess. Wipe it good. So this is the assy board. I like it. Ah. To replace the switches, you need to unsolder these two points here. The bottom is completely filthy. For the time being, I'm just gonna use some contact cleaner and give it a wipe. If you want a brand new board, you can pick them up for about $2 and you'd have to solder in the switches yourself. So after the cleansing, let's put it back together. First the spring receiver in the center, then add the spring, or a stronger one if you wish. And now to use this ceramic grease. We're just gonna put a dab in this area here, and then spread it around with the cotton bud. Then do the same with the pivot. Insert and give it a bit of a spin. Now we can slowly thrust our stick into the housing. Thankfully the E-clip is much easier to put on than it is to take off. If 
finally we can clip the gate into place. And we are complete. One clean, lubed sandwich stick. Next up is a Seimitsu. To remove the ball, we need to use a flathead screwdriver in the bottom. With a sharp twist, we can get it off. Painful. Remove the dust cover. And for this stick, we have it hooked up to a USB encoder. Instead of causing damage to the spade connectors, we can remove cables from the USB encoder. With a posi driver, we remove the stick from the plate. This is pretty filthy. My dirty stick needs a clay. First up is to remove the mount. Four screws here, 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 and here. Wow. Look at the state of this. Sorry. For getting clean down there. If you want to have the joystick gate in the same position, it's a good idea to use a marker, not, not a pencil, that's a very bad idea, and just draw through the holes. Now for the most difficult part, to remove the C-ring. You'll need a set of snap ring pliers. If you don't have any of these, it's near enough impossible to take off. The idea is to place the points in the holes, and then just squeeze. If the prongs don't fit, we can use a file to make them slightly smaller. I always have this problem when they say that it will not fit. I make it fit. Now we can insert and squeeze. Use your thumb to raise it over the shaft and we're out. I got these sticks with the used arcade machine and yes, it's not been maintained very well. There's a layer of rust or grime over the spring and yeah, it's just generally filthy. You do have a dirty mind. I am an angel. Ah. Same goes for the pivot. And pretty much everything about this stick. Remove the gate. There are four screws. Two for the top and two for down below. These are my settings on the holodeck. The password to enter is monkey bowels. You can replace these for new parts if you wish, but I think this just needs a bit of love and care. You can see the dirt where the stick hits the gate. Let's check the switches. Four screws. Then the top plate can be removed. I'll use some contact cleaner onto the cotton swabs. Wipe these clean. And the bearing stand here needs a lot of cleaning, as do the other plastic parts. Reminds me of someone I met at Star Academy. I was so drunk I couldn't see how revolting she was. Be a gargle. Back to the sink. It's also a nice idea to use a toothbrush to get into the more difficult to reach places. Make sure we dry everything. And for any finer cleaning, use a toothbrush. Now to clean the metal parts with 556. And tissue. While cleaning the shaft, we may only get so far in getting rid of the dirt and muck. If you have a rusty shaft like this, you could obviously replace it for new, or you could get some sandpaper. You could sand by hand, or you could get some power tools. Just stick it in. Stick it in. Then thrust in and out with your shaft. Energize. Make sure the sandpaper is over 1000 grit, so it's not as coarse to damage it. Now with the tissue, wipe off the mess. While not exactly perfect, it's much better than before. Now we can start to reassemble the unit. If need be, we can change the switches, take out the serra grease, and use a cotton swab to apply it to the bottom of our spring receiver. Pop it into place, and screw the metal plate on top.
Note the notches here. Nipples. We can push them into these holes. I am a scat man. And then screw. If we insert our finger, we can move the spring receiver around a little and then lubricate the bearing stand. Proceed to the pivot, insert, and then give it a wiggle. Now we can slide on the spring, the spacer, and then replace the C-ring. With fingers, it is a complete nightmare, so use your pliers. We can now give it a quick wiggle. It just feels way better than before. Screwy, screwy, screwy. With the dust cover. And yeah, we're pretty much done. One clean stick ready for action. Now for the clone sticks in the Pandora units. These will get some wear, but they're a complete pain just to take apart. If you do feel your sticks are on the last legs, it's better to just go and purchase an official Seimitsu or Sanwa product. So to close up, we just want to say a quick thank you to all the guys on our Patreon. We appreciate all of the support you're giving to us, and it helps us tremendously. If you feel like you want to help out, please join our Patreon. Our channel provides videos, reviews, and guides for emulation, arcade bits, and bobs. We also have a website, Facebook, and Discord if you feel the need for a chin whack. Come on down, have a drink with us. This has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra.